Welcome to Reconciler 9. I just wanted to take an opportunity to show you how the material movement screen within the data analysis modules uh, works. So we've got the, the option to choose your period. Um, just remember that quick links is always available. So if you're saving a configuration of any kind, just go through and set it with a, uh, a quick link so that you don't have to come through and change all of your, uh, your period selector every time. Uh, I have preloaded a, a configuration here, so I've called the Mining versus Plans Weekly, uh, and it's just this one here. So I've just clicked on that, and that's loaded this screen for me. What I wanted to show you though is just explain the the metrics, and hopefully that uh, if you if you're familiar with Reconciler, you'll know that we use standard metric naming. So we've got mine production, we've got direct feed, stockpiling, stockpile feed, and it goes all the way through the mine value chain. With each of these standard metrics, we have got the a little triangle here, which drops down the, the full list. So I've uh, chosen to look at a few grades and, and the metal equivalents with those grades and the wet tons. I could have looked at volume. I could have looked at um, other, other sets of grades, whatever it may be. Um, over on the uh, configure filter, what we do have is the option of where you can change those grades so we can turn things on and off quite easily and we've also got these data sets so you can see there's one called dispatch monthly plan and weekly that refers to these data sets so dispatch monthly plan and another one called weekly we'll just close that and we'll show that's called weekly if i open up that dispatch uh, data set itself i can call this whatever i like so this is uh and if i spell it right this is is exactly how you would like it to be called and um, it's free text what you've then got the option of doing is choosing which metric set you would like to see this particular data set on and so i've said i want to see this or i want to see my raw haulage on everything other than crusher received and i've also got the option of setting some filters so i'm going, not going to set any filters but it's as easy as saying okay well, maybe my source material type and then you'll have your list of material types so very dynamic filter there and i could save that I, I won't put a filter on this at the moment i'll just leave it as um as haulage so reconcile also has the option of bringing in a second set of numbers an adjusted set of numbers and there will be some sites out there that bring in a raw number and an adjusted number so you could be looking at two different data sets one raw and one adjusted and you would just set them up as a as a raw haulage and an adjusted haulage you can move the uh the order of these so it's uh you can just turn them on uh, up and down you can delete things up and down um sorry just delete things by the little button there and uh, so I renamed that dispatch data set to haulage and I'll press apply and close and you'll see that the renaming of this particular data set will now be haulage. And we can see it's called haulage there. So whilst we've got this open, another um, nice thing to see is that if you click on any of these data sets and I'll, I'll select the, um, this first one since we're looking at that haulage what you'll be given is the underlying data that gives you this total number okay so this is always going to be the total number in the box for the period that you've selected but now what I can see is the individual movements that make up those total numbers you've also got the option to hide columns so we've got a couple of columns here that we don't use so batch name and uh, contractor name let's just delete those and you can see that it's starting to clean up this table in a really nice way you've got lots of filtering options um, on on all of the columns you've got a to z's uh, just by clicking on it you'll go to a to z uh, and you can also export so you've got the option here to export all to csv or export the current view the difference between that is sometimes you'll choose one of these metric sets that has all of the data um, and is capped at 1000 rows obviously it doesn't make sense to be looking at uh at more than 1000 rows on screen so we we'll say let's just take that out to csv excel and and maybe you want to do some um some different uh, analysis there uh, so you can actually set this up for just a, a today's date you can say okay well I've got all my source and my destination uh, I've got my equipment ID uh, close this table and you'll be taken back now um, any of these data sets you click on them and the table comes up so if you once you get a really nice screen and you're happy with it I would just go up here and press save and either publish it to public or as your personal configuration